Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm gonna to be filming a Sephora haul. I got a ton of stuff at Sephora that I wanted to share with you guys. So that is what we're gonna be going through today. I'm also going to show you guys some other products that I got in the mail that may not be from Sephora or may not be in my order, but it's new products that I'm excited about. Either way, majority of this is my Sephora haul and it's a ton of stuff. So we're just gonna hop on into it. We got a lot to go through. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, don't forget to subscribe and also let me know what video you guys would like to see down below. If you see a product that you want me to try on camera, definitely let me know in the comments below. And without further ado, we're just gonna go ahead and hop on into this video. First thing I'm gonna show you guys is actually what I have on right now. I just got done filming this video, so you'll probably see it before this one. If not, then it might be after this one. But this is the Shiseido Skin Self-Refreshing Custom Finish Powder Foundation. So I got the shade 350 Maple. I think I'm gonna go down a shade or so. It's just slightly off for me, so I'm just gonna get another shade, but I am gonna keep this one just to kind of mix and match if it's needed. Yeah, you'll see my review on it. That is one of the products I got. And then I also did repurchase this Dior Skin Curl correct concealer because I had purchased this before but the shade was too dark so I went ahead and got the color 2N and this is perfect for me. I used it today for the first time after using the one that was too dark for me and I really like it so far. I think it looks really nice but I have not tried this over foundation so we will see how I like it moving forward so definitely stay tuned for that. Okay so this next thing is actually what I got in PR and I'm excited about it because I saw his video on it and I was just super pumped about it so it is Patrick's Star's new line that is at Sephora is called One Size, which I think is fabulous. It is something different, which I appreciate. I appreciate the fact that he came out with not just makeup first, but makeup remover, which I think is really cool. It's definitely different. So you got this little headband in the PR box, these huge cloths. This is the One Size Go Off Juiciest Makeup Remover Wipes. So I have not opened these yet. I'm gonna take them downstairs after I film this video, but these look ginormous. And if you guys haven't watched this video, I will definitely leave it down below in the description box. He does like a full tutorial and like description of everything. These look huge, like 10 times bigger than regular wipes. This I'm really pumped to try. It is the Makeup Dissolving Mist. So you just spray it all over and it takes it off. It's interesting. So we're going to see how this works. Thank you, Patrick, for sending this over and congratulations on your new brand. It's always amazing to see fellow YouTubers and everybody being entrepreneurs. Like that's always the goal. So congratulations to him. Next up, this is another product that I got in PR. This is the Hourglass Unlocked Instant Extensions Mascara. 100% said it instantly lengthened lashes. 93% said it made eyes look more open. 93% said it was smudge proof all day. Ooh. So it's an ultra black. Like I said, it is a new mascara. It has a good weight to it. Uh, I'm excited to try this out. What does it say? 5% of the profits are donated to non-human rights projects. Cool. Project, not projects. I'm excited to try this. I'm not going to open it up just yet, but hopefully it's good. We'll see if it looks like false lashes. You know, I like to have more volume than length. Unless I'm wearing false lashes, I want my mascara to give me lots of volume, but we will see how I like that and if I think it's good. This one, I'm excited about. I actually saw one of her videos in my sub box here recently. I didn't get to watch it just yet, but I was like, oh my God, it'd be so cool to like follow her tutorial with her palette. So this is the Pure Raw Beauty Christie collab. I think this is maybe available at Ulta. I don't think it's available at Sephora because I'm pretty sure Pure is not available at Sephora. But she has three different things in here. So you have two different eyelashes, which look really great. They are cruelty free. If you guys have never tried Pure, they are a great brand. I actually met up with them in Atlanta one time and they were so kind. Here is her palette. I wanted to keep all of this to show you guys because I thought it was really cute. I kind of wanted to do a first impression and now that I saw she did a tutorial, I kind of want to just follow her tutorial. This palette's really cool. I have opened it up because it is a dual sided palette. So on this side, you have a bunch of really pretty colors. This is the colorful side, brights, neons, lots of good stuff. And then you also have the neutral side with mirrors. So I thought this was fabulous. I can't wait to try it. Obviously this is like the side that I love. So I can't wait to try this out, but let me know what you guys want to see. Ooh, Hurtful is really pretty. I love that it has a mirror on both sides and it's so compact. Congrats to her again. It's amazing to see YouTubers come out with different products. So congrats to her. It's the ColourPop Pretty, pretty fresh complexion blending sponge. I am so intrigued to try this. It's flat there, has that kind of a side. 
I did go ahead and give the foundations for a giveaway because I'm not really into like straight up dewy foundations, but I did keep the sponge, so I am going to test that out and see what I think. So I have this Pat McGrath's Perma Precision Eyeliner. This is just a repurchase for me. I love this so much. I think it's an absolutely fantastic liner. It's easy to use. It's very, very black, and I love it. One of my go-tos, and this packaging is really cute. Next up, okay, so I opened this to look at it, and I don't know if I love it, you know? But I'm gonna try it out. It's the Natasha Denona Bronze Palette. I know I just got done talking about Natasha Denona in like my last video, talking about how I feel like some of her palettes expire pretty quickly. So it's just bronze, and then it's all these beautiful warm colors. I'm gonna have to try it, you know? There's a lot of shimmers in here. There's one, two, three, four, five mattes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine shimmers. I love the packaging. I love the mirror, all of that, but we'll just have to see what I think of it. Maybe I'll do a first impressions video on a lot of this stuff. That way we can try it together. And next up, I got this because I saw Stephanie, which is SMLX0 here on YouTube, talk about this on her Instagram, and I was super interested in it. So it's the Pharmacy Deep Sweep 2% BHA Pore Cleaning Toner. And I don't think I've ever used anything like this, like a pore cleaning toner. I don't know. It sounded really great and then it's supposed to exfoliate. So it says, yeah, it says a toner that gently exfoliates, deep cleans pores and controls oil without over stripping skin. This refreshing daily toner contains a blend of salicylic acid, moringa water, and papaya enzyme to help reduce the shine and minimize the look of pores, which... Sounds good to me. And it says, ideal for combination of oily skin. I am very oily, so I'm really pumped to try that out. I don't even see what the packaging is. Hold on. I don't think I've used much from this brand, so we'll see. Ooh, nice packaging. This is so pretty. That is what it looks like. She looks so pretty. I can't wait to test this out. A little bit more Pat McGrath. I did get a few things from her. This is the Ultra Glide Eye Pencil. It comes with a sharpener, and then you do have the pencil. I like that it comes with a sharpener. I could always use a sharpener. Oh my gosh, I can't get this off. I got it. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's just a black liner. Ooh, it's super black. That's what it looks like. I actually could use a little bit on my eyes right now, so let's just see what this looks like. It's a nice black eyeliner. I hope that like it stays on the waterline for as long as possible. I have a hard time finding eyeliners that don't like run underneath my eyes, so we'll kind of see how this lasts throughout the video, but I'm excited to use that. I mentioned this. I think in my last video, it was either my last video or Instagram, I mentioned it somewhere, but I went to go purchase this powder and I could not find the individual powder on Sephora, but I saw this little set. It's the Pretty Vulgar Sealed with a Kiss Powder and Mist Makeup Setting Spray and Translucent Setting Powder Travel Size or Travel Set. So I bought this. I was like, I need that powder back because I used to love this powder. You guys know I'm obsessed with the Too Faced Peach Perfect Powder, but this one was pretty much my baby before that before that came out. It is a really great powder. So it is a travel size, but I love the size of this. I did use up pretty much my entire one that I had last time. And then this is the little setting spray. It does not have a lid. So I thought that was a lid for some reason. Mm, cool. I don't know if this is like mattifying or what. It doesn't say. So we'll just, we'll test it out. We'll test out this little setting spray. I think it's great that it's travel size. I love travel size, as you guys know. Then I have this on my desk too that I forgot to mention. It is the Pat McGrath's Dark Star Mascara. I love all her packaging. It's just so fun and cute. Again, this is a really beautiful, nicely packaged mascara. It has good weight to it. It's an extreme black. So I have quite, oh wow, look at how much taller it is than than this one. So we have that new Hourglass one and then this is Pat McGrath. So we have quite a few to go through. I will keep you guys updated on the mascaras. Let's talk about another Pat McGrath item. This is the Perma Gel Ultra Lip Pencil. I forget what colors I got, but I got another sharpener. Yeah. Thank you, Pat. You do know how bad I need these things. Oh, this color looks really pretty. Mm -hmm. That's my kind of color right there. This one is in the shade Buff. I found as I was like going through my lip liners that I didn't really have like a good warm toned or like neutral lip liners. Like I needed some more of my collections. So I did buy quite a few. Normally I don't purchase high-end lip liners, but 
I said, let me try them because they were so pretty. Next up, we have this No Secrets Added. Okay, I've never tried this brand. Beauty Counter Counter Control Matte Effect Gel Cream. I'm sorry, what? What is that? Wow, this is nice. This is heavy. It says this innovative cream to gel hydrator maintains healthy moisture levels while mattifying skin for up to eight hours. The formula with our signature skin balance complex of wintergreen and rose bay willow improves skin texture without clogging pores. Let me tell you I'm excited about this. So I think this is going to be the moisturizer that I use before makeup, not necessarily every day because I don't wear makeup every single day. I don't want to use something like this if I'm not going to wear makeup because I would love to have like the mattifying aspect of it and it is kind of expensive so we will see how this works but how pretty is this packaging it is so nice I just kind of want to see what it looks like it smells really good mmm silky yeah we will see how this works for me I will keep you guys updated I'm usually really picky on skincare right now I'm using Tatcha the gel cream for my daytime moisturizer I use that product like all the time we will incorporate this and see how it works because I'm very curious this is a new brand I have not tried before it's the wishful clean genie cleansing butter I'm pretty dang sure this is a clean brand and I really wanted to try a clean brand for a makeup remover. I do love my Clinique Take Off The Day Cleansing Balm. I still use it. I've been using that thing for years, but I did want to try this one out. So it's the Clean Genie Cleansing Butter. It says to scoop a dime size amount and apply to face, massage to gently dissolve makeup, dirt, and excess oils, rinse with warm water or wet cloth, and follow with your normal cleansing skincare routine. We will see what I think of this. The packaging is so pretty. A little bit of a different texture. It looks like it's not as firm as the Clinique take off the day. But like I said, we will try this out. It has green tea extract, malachite, and cherry blossom. So yeah, I can't wait to test this. Never tried it before. I have so many skincare things to try. I did purchase a travel size Too Faced Peach Perfect mattifying loose setting powder because I thought they were discontinuing it because I could not find it on the website. A lot of you said they're not, which is good, but I still purchased this and I'm going to keep it because I do, I use this all the time. So we're just going to keep that in my collection. So I have another clean product. This is Lawless Make Me Blush Velvet Blush Talc Free. Lawless is a clean brand. They, they're clean as <laughs> and I can't wait to try this. So there was a couple other shades that I wanted to try, but they weren't in stock. Really pretty packaging. Ooh, it's a pretty mauve color. Very soft. I wanted to get some of her peachy tones. So I'm definitely going to snag some up once they restock, but this is a really pretty like mauve blush. I love that. She's due with her baby really soon. So congrats, Annie. I cannot wait to see that. Baby. Okay, we've got a few more things. I know we've been here for a while, but we have a few more. I repurchased this airbrush bronzer from Charlotte Tilbury because number three was way too dark for me. So I wanted to try number two. I don't even think I uploaded the video where I had tried this bronzer, but I have tried it before. I need to look over that video and see if I should upload it. This color looks like it might work better for me. It's just not as dark. Number three is just way too dark for me. So we will see how number two goes. If I don't like this one, I will just give up on it. But I like the packaging a lot. It's a huge compact, really big mirror. So we will see. Speaking of Charlotte Tilbury, I don't normally, I mean, I buy stuff like this. I don't know why. I just like to try them to see if it maybe brightens my under eyes. This is her Magic Vanish Under Eye Face Cheat for instant color correction. This is in two medium. I never really color correct, to be honest with you, not even with my redness. I'm like, whatever, I'll just get a full coverage foundation and be done with it. But even with my under eyes, like I don't have super dark under eyes, you know? But you know, you wanna try things to maybe brighten it up a little bit. So this is completely opposite from the bronzer. It is a tiny, <laughs> this is a super tiny compact. And this is what it looks like. Is this a cream? Yes, okay. I was about to be like, what? That's the color right there. I will try it out and just see. It is really, really tiny. But like I said, I normally don't use color correctors. I just like to purchase them every now and then and try them out and see if like there's a difference. But normally I'm like, give me full coverage so I don't need the other stuff you know? Mainly because I don't need it. But moving on to Dior, I did buy a few different Dior things. First off, I did repurchase the face and body foundation because I used to love this and all of mine, I'm pretty dang sure are expired. This one's too dark for me, so it's going back. Five in is definitely way too dark for me. I did really like this. It's a thinner formula, but it has great coverage and it lasts really well. So definitely check this out if you're looking for a new foundation and you kind of want to splurge. And then the other thing I got is this face and body glow in 001 Universal. I have never tried this, but I thought it would look, I mean, that looks so pretty. Shake it up. 
I thought for my arms and like shoulders and stuff. Ooh, hello. That's it right there. I figured for my body, that's mainly the reason why I got it is just to use it for my body, not necessarily for my face. That looks really pretty. It looks natural too. Cause sometimes like when I apply products that are glowing for the body, they're just too much and you can see like the shimmers and it's just not what I'm looking for. I wanted something a little bit more natural and this looks gorgeous. So I'm gonna keep testing this and let you guys know what I think. I was gonna buy the full size of this and then I saw it was available in sample size. So I took that thing out and I got this. It was like with my points or whatever. And it's the face and body primer. So I got this for, well, I didn't actually get it for free because I use my points and points are a cash that I've spent in Sephora. I should have got the full size of this with my points in Sephora. This is what it looks like. It is super tiny, but again, Stephanie SML XO, she raves about this product and I wanted to give it a try. So I got the sample size of that. A few more things. We have two of the Melt Liquid Set Lipsticks. We have Golden and then we have Ginger. So let's see what these colors look like. So this is the color Ginger. All of these looked really pretty pretty online oh, for fall that is going to be so pretty oh I love that it smells really good too I love that color that is just gorgeous it's like not too dark not too light it's warm that is really pretty and then like I said I got this color in golden this looks like a really nice nude Ooh, this is interesting so that's what golden looks like it is really pretty I don't have anything like this it kind of matches my skin tone Let's see what it looks like in the center this is interesting but I like it wow I like it like I said I don't have anything like this but I think with bronzy looks this is gonna be gorgeous to kind of combine with other lip colors. And I like what it just did with my lip color now, so I like that a lot. I got another Melt Liquid Set Lipstick. This one looks so pretty. It's in Gwendolyn, and I'm pretty sure this is like a peachy pink. Pretty positive. Like I said, I'm kind of looking for more warm tones right now. That is so pretty. I love that. That matches my jacket right now. I love it. I love this so much. So that's the color right there. That is so pretty. That's like an everyday color for me. Love that. I think this with a little bit of golden in the center too would be stunning. I got another liquid lip from Melt. I think I just went through a Melt phase. I mean, I'm glad I did because I feel like I got really good colors. This one's in the shade Ladylike. Ooh, this one looks pretty. <gasps> this one in the center of the last one that I just told you about would be so pretty. So there it is right there. I love that color. These are all so nice. They're also like I don't have really any of these colors in my collection, so good purchases. And then I did get a Melt Cosmetics Cali Dream Blush. I haven't really tried their blushes, I don't think. Oh, it's so light. I'm gonna have to return this one. This is way too light for me. It looked pretty on the side. It looked a lot darker. Since we are on the topic of Melt Cosmetics, I'll show you guys a couple other things. This is the last of Melt, I believe, but I got three different lip liners. So this one is in the shade Nudist. Little mauve but I'm still gonna keep it and use it because I use mauves all the time too. This one's in Love Nude. Ooh, yeah, that's pretty. Still kind of mauve though, I'm surprised. I think so far the Pat McGrath one is my favorite color-wise. And then this one is Love Note. Ooh, that one's pretty too, Love Note. Wait, is that the same thing as the one I just had? Oh, I got two love notes. I'm an idiot. So I got two of the love notes, I guess by accident, but it's still pretty color, so I'll use it. And then I did snag up this Makeup Forever new Matte Velvet Skin Concealer. I got the shade 2.6. This looks like it's gonna be a good shade for my under eyes. Whoa, that is a huge applicator. A ton of product just came off of that. I cannot wait to try this out. That's the packaging of it right there. Again, it's in 2.6, and that's the color swatch right there. I got this Patrick Ta blush. It's the Double Take Cream and Powder Blush. I haven't really used cream blush since I got the Fenty Beauty one, and I really like the Fenty Beauty cream blushes. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I really like mine. I wanted to test this out just to kind of see if it helps like the longevity of the blush. It has the cream and then the powder. I love that there's like a little flap on top of that. So so there's the cream part and then the powder. They look really, really nice. So I'll see what this looks like on my skin. The cream blush does feel pretty greasy. This is in She's That Girl. So we'll kind of see how it works with my skin, if it makes me an oily mess or not. I know the powder's there to set on top of it, but when it's super greasy, it usually doesn't work out. Very last 
thing that I got is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Setting Spray. This has hyaluronic acid and coconut water. Up to 16 hour makeup wear. So we will see if this is good. It's a soothing hydration mist. Don't know how it's really gonna work for me, but I am gonna just try it out and see. Sometimes things like this make me extra oily and it just looks a mess. But I don't know, I just wanted to test it out and see. So this is the packaging, it looks really pretty. But that is everything that I got you guys. We've been here for probably an hour, I would have to say. I know it's a lot of stuff, but I wanted to try out a bunch of new different products. Let me know what you guys would like to see a video on. I think I'm just going to do like a first impressions of a bunch of new makeup for my next video. Kind of organize this back. If you could see my table right now, it is a disaster. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.